My name is Alan King, and I've got a secret. I've got a secret brought to you tonight by Bristol Myers, makers of Buffrin, the modern pain remedy that gives you fast pain relief without stomach discomfort. Bristol Myers brings you America's number one panel show, I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. Thank you so much. A glad good evening to you on a rather coolish evening here in August, and uh, welcome to I've Got a Secret. We'd like to have you meet the members of our panel. They are Bill Cullen and Betsy Palmer, and then sitting in for Henry Morgan, who is off doing summer stock, is our very good friend, Johnny Carson. A special hand for Johnny. Johnny is a guest. And, of course, homely Bess Myers. <laughs> Look at that girl with her sunburn. Kind of too bad about you. Now, you ready to play the game, panel? Yes, sir. You are? All right. Now, may we have our first contestant, please? <laughs> Will you tell uh, our panel what your name is, please, and where you're from? I'm Landon Bradshaw from Brooklyn, Jasper County, Texas. This is Mr. Bradshaw, and he is from Texas. The name of the town is Brooklyn, but it's spelled B-R-O-O-K-E-L-A-N-D. A whole different... Brooklyn, the one you're thinking of. You seem to have something in a box there. What, what is it, sir? Uh, that's my secret. Well, if that's your secret, maybe we ought to share it with our audience at home, if you'll whisper to me, please. <laughs> well, I must confess that I really don't find that too terribly exciting. There must be more to it. Uh, uh, can you, uh... What's the name? That I do find impressive, and so panel Mr. Bradshaw's secret concerns something he has, and let's just start at the top. Bill Cullen, we'll start with you. Mr. Bradshaw, sir, it is in the box, the it's thing. It's in the box. Is it alive, sir? No. That's good. <laughs> is it a one-of-a-kind thing, uh, Landon? Uh, would you say this was the only one exactly like it? Well, we'd have to say, I think Mr. Bradshaw is the only one exactly like it. However, there are several billion of this general species. Would you not agree with that? That's right. But this is unique, the one it's Mr. Unique. Bradshaw. Uh, is it bigger than the other billion of the general species? It's bigger than billions. Oh, oh you're from Texas, and this is bigger. It's something you grew, and it is a, is it a vegetable? No. Is it all right, there's $20 down, $60 to go, and so we go to Betsy. Is it something? No. Is it something you really did grow, though, Mr. Bradshaw? Come again? Did you, did you grow this? Yes. Now, now, wait just half a second. You know, the thing about our panel is that sometimes they get so busy ad-libbing to each other under their breath and breaking each other up. Bill, what did you say to Betsy to break her up? Well, I'm not breaking up. It's Beth who's breaking up. Well, well, who said what? To I'm make trying to ask Mr. Bradshaw I said it's something, something he grew, it's bigger than anyone ever had any. It's probably a particularly big boil or carbuncle or something. <laughs> no, sorry, no, no fair ad-libbing on top of ad-lib. All right. Now then, is it something that you grew outside of your house? Yes. Is it something... Oh, All right, $40 down, on. $40 to go. We go to Johnny Carson, please. <laughs> if you walk down the street with this, could you walk down the street with this? No. no. You couldn't? No. You couldn't pick this up? No. Is it, uh, is it, it is vegetable? No. Oh, then we don't know that he grew anything. No. He grew it. He grew, he grew it. it. He we grew know it. that he grew it, That'd but we, we know, all, only we know that it isn't, is that it is not a vegetable. <clears throat> is it edible? Yes. Would I enjoy eating it? Yes. Well, the animal, the and the $60 down, $20 to go, and we go, please, to beds. Uh, is it um, a meal of some kind? In other words, do you have some kind of cooked chicken or baked? <laughs> oh, it's, it, it, no. Is no. it a prepared edible? No. Yes. No, it isn't. Huh? Uh, could we eat it right now here? Yes. Yes. Is it some kind of fruit? fruit. Yes. It oh. is. It's the biggest of its kind that has ever been grown. 
We're not quite certain of that, are we? We oh, just know well, it's an awfully big one of its sort. Uh-huh. Is it, um... It's a 50-pound <laughs> orange. <laughs> no, it is. I bet it's a 75-pound tomato. Is it something that we would put in a salad? Something that would you put in a salad? I've seen it done, although it's not recommended from my viewpoint. We've lost the $80. Final Mr. Bradshaw's secret is that he has on this table, under the box, a watermelon. A watermelon. Now, since it's from Texas, it's a pretty big watermelon. Matter of fact, it weighs 119 pounds. What? 119. I'll get the cover off and give you a closer look. Now, Mr. Bradshaw, what is the weight of a normal watermelon that you'd buy in a market? Uh, from 12 to 35 pounds. Now, a 35 pound watermelon's awfully big, isn't it? It's a large one. Yeah. Well, now, the, uh, what is this one worth? It's worth $29. $29. You see, he makes a specialty of growing them for supermarkets and for uh, restaurants for display purposes. Looks like it has thyroid trouble. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> it's padded all the way up from Texas here. How many would this serve, sir? Uh, that'll serve over 200 people. Over 200 people. That's at a half pound portion per person, right? Right. Well, no, I don't want the audience to think we're going to trick them. We don't want you to think this is paper mache or whatever, so we don't have time to serve everybody in our studio audience, but I... What'd you expect, the pickle fork? This watermelon, by the way, I don't you want you to think it's going to go to waste. It is the, we're sending it to Jackie Gleason for breakfast, is what we're doing. <laughs> no, we're sending it to a local children's hospital here in town, and it will be served to them tomorrow. Mr. Bradshaw, thank you ever so much for being with us here tonight. Your Bristol Myers guest package will be waiting for you off stage, and thanks so much. <laughs> Sir. Nice to have you with us. I'll ask you please to identify yourselves to the members of our panel. You are please. Mrs. Dallas Vernon from Lebanon, Missouri. Mrs. Vernon, and she is from Missouri. And the gentleman to my left? Dallas Vernon from Lebanon, Missouri. So we have here Mr. and Mrs. Vernon, the husband and wife team, right? Missouri. All right, now if you'll whisper your secret to me, we'll show it at the same time to our audience at home. But Gary, yes. we share our secret with four of our seven boys. Oh, four of your seven sons. That's right. Well, they're backstage, are they not? Let's get the four sons out here. They share the six. <laughs> now, we know that your last name, of course, is Vernon, so we'll ask you to give us your first names, please. Yes, I'm Bill Vernon. I'm Bill? from Joplin. You're from Joplin, Bill? Yes, I'm his twin brother, Bob. I'm Bob. And I'm the youngest, Don. Don? And I'm B.J. B.J. All right, now we're all assembled. Now, if you will whisper your... Oh, by the way, these gentlemen, all four of them, are ministers of the Christian Church, and they live in Joplin, Missouri. So now that we have established that they are ministers and the family is all together, uh, let's whisper our secret, shall we? Uh, but, Gary, we share our secret with our wives. With your wives? <laughs> they're here? Yeah, they're here. Let's seat. get the wives out. We'll... we'll... <laughs> So, now let's find out the first names of the wives, please. I'm will. Joy. Joy. Mm -hmm. Pat. Pat. Carol. Carol. Lorraine. And Lorraine. Well, isn't it nice that we're all together? Now we can whisper our secret, can we not? Oh, wait a minute, Gary. We have our children with us, and they share in our secret, too. <laughs> the children are here, too. All right, let's have the kiddies in. Here they come. The little one on the end hasn't got any place to put herself. There you go. Now, the seven little Vernons are, they are Rebecca, nine, and Linda, eight. Linda, wave to the camera. That's it, yeah. And Richard, six, and Greg, six, and Michael, five, and James Lee, James Lee. Oh, 
J James Lee, no, the audience, no, James Lee, you're in the wrong seat. <laughs> well, the little girl's name is James Lee, apparently. I, <laughs> the little girl is Diane, she's four, and on the end is James Lee, who is also four and has a mind of his own. <laughs> Actually, there is one other Vernon, Michelle, who is eight months old, but she decided to sleep this one out. Now, uh, James Lee, is it, is it all right with you if we go ahead with everything? <laughs> is it all right if we go ahead with this? Can you, can you say yes? <laughs> well, this program comes to you sponsored by Buffering, but not by James Lee. <laughs> But have no part of it. <laughs> so now we're all set. Let's whisper our secret together, shall we? Here we go. <laughs> Final to help you with the game. The clue concerns something they do. We'll start the questioning. Why don't we start with Johnny? I was just going to say, if these youngsters said we're going to share our secret with our youngsters, I was going to leave. That was <laughs> something they do. Is this a, uh, a family activity that they enjoy together? Something that you all do together. Yeah. A pleasure, yeah. pleasurable activity? Is it what? A pleasurable activity? Pleasurable? Yeah. Yeah. Is this something you do every week or any particular schedule? Schedule. Is it? Schedule. There's a definite schedule, yes. All right, $20 mm -hmm. down, $60 to go, and so we go to best. Uh, is it um, something that takes place on a Sunday? No. 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 Not, not necessarily. Not necessarily. There is a definite schedule. When we say schedule, I mean by if they know when they're going to do it, but it doesn't fall on a given date or a given day of the week. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Does it uh, happen indoors? Hmm. Yes. yes, sometimes. Yes. Primarily, oh. primarily indoors, yes. Uh huh. Is it some kind of uh, physical thing that you do? Is it musical? Let me ask that. Does it have anything to do with music? We'd have to say partially. Uh -huh. Yes. Is it forty dollars down, forty to go? We go to Bill Cullen. Could it be considered entertaining for someone else? Well, first of all, could it be considered entertaining to you, uh, all of you, as you do it? You have fun with it, and it's entertaining. Uh -huh. Yes, they have fun. Uh, let us say this further: that it's entertaining to the to other people. It also has a primary serious purpose. The entertainment is the most obvious part of it. Is the serious purpose education in the strictest sense of the word? Uh, uh, we have to say in the strictest sense of the word, no. Now, there's a, there's, there's a little quibble here, but he yeah. means in, 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 uh, of knowledge. Uh, academic. Uh, acad academic, yes. $60 down, $20 to go. We go please to Betsy. Um, would this by any chance have to do with um, what we could consider theatrics or drama or something like that? And do you do it at one time of the day more than the other? Say, for instance, um, maybe in the evening. Or that probably doesn't... I, what I'm thinking is that maybe you, you dramatize Bible stories or... Um, you write your own plays have, 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 have you ever dramatized Bible stories? It's no. included. Uh, yeah. No, we don't. No, you we actually don't. have never done, but you might, you might well do. Well, it's a thought. You know, you can try. All right, the Vernon family shares a wonderful and quite inspiring secret, we think. All of them, from grandparents right down to the littlest Vernon of them all, are the stars of their own television program. Now, their program... Their program is called Homestead USA, which is syndicated throughout the country. And Bob Vernon here, I will elect you spokesman of the group. How would you describe Homestead USA? Well, Gary, uh, we try to make it uh, a lot of fun. It's a family program. Uh, we fellows set up a corporation called Christian Television Mission. Mm -hmm. And we uh, raise funds and produce these films, which have their setting on the homestead where mother and dad live and where we fellows grew up, the seven sons. And uh, we sing. We, we try to inspire. We have no pretentious boasts about ourselves, but such as we are and, and such as we have, we want to share with uh, But basically everybody. the intent is, is religion. Yes, uh, we, we try to have a biblical dramatization which will uh, solve problems which confront all of us as families. In because America. between the bunch of you, you must have all kinds of problems, just like anybody else, I'm quite sure. Well, like, they not only thought of the idea for their show, but they raised the money for it and arranged for it to be produced under the auspices of the Christian churches and the churches of Christ. 
Uh, it's a completely non-profit venture. Now, the singing, of course, is one of the high spots of the program, and so I'm going to ask them to sing for us tonight. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> They'll be accompanied by Norman Paris singing, I'm a Tramp. I'm a Tramp. I'm a trampin', 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 Thank you ever so much. It's just been a great joy to know all of you. These are the Vernons. They are the star of their own show, the Homestead USA. And thank you ever so much for being with us. <laughs> Panel, quite quickly, I'm going to have to ask you to exit in that direction. We're running short on time. Now, my friends, it's time to greet our special guest for the evening. Here's a young gentleman who, in the last two years, has climbed his way to absolutely one of the top comedians in our business. Here's Mr. Alan King. <laughs> this is the way Perry Como started. <laughs> Alan, for heaven's sake, we have only half hour show. What's all the equipment here? Well, I'd like to try a little experiment tonight for the uh, benefit of my wife who's watching the show. Oh, what kind of an experiment? Well, you know, this is the time of the year that everybody's using their car to go on vacations, mm -hmm. and I maintain that it's a man's job to pack the luggage and equipment into the car. Well, I absolutely agree. It's the man's privilege to do that. So why is it every time we start packing the car, the wife is over our shoulders? All right. Bend the couch in over here. Take those golf clubs over there. We can get the automatic dishwasher in the corner. <laughs> well, I agree with you. You have a point. It is the man's job, and we do pack better, but the women think they do. That's exactly what I want to find out tonight. Now, while the game, when the game is over, yeah. I'd like the two men on the panel yeah. to pack all this equipment into the trunk of this car. All that in here? That's right. And to prove that it'll work, I have another car over here that has the identical equipment all completely packed. Oh boy, that's going to be quite a job, isn't it? And while the game is going on, yeah. we'll empty everything out of here and then give the girls a chance to see if they can do it better than the men. So we'll have a contest of the girls on this car and the men on that car. Please. You're a fiend. Let's close the <laughs> curtains and hide everything. Get the panel back in. And we'll see which one of them can, which one of them can pack the car the fastest, okay? So, but while we're waiting for the panel to come back in, is there any activity that you, uh, are you working anywhere that I should plug? No, but I wish you'd get back on the air. It's been a very rough summer, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> on the Tuesday night show, you're going to be on our first show on the 27th. Yes, and I need the money. It's been a long time. I'm sure summer. you do. We'll take up a collection. Hello there, panel. Hello there, you all know Alan King, I hope, and if you don't, you missed a great deal. So having feasted your eyes on this gorgeous specimen of manhood, would you please put your blindfolds on, because we have a small secret that concerns something that is going to happen. And wait till Bill gets his blindfold off, and away we go. All right, let's start with the best Myerson, please. Something that's going to happen. Alan, 
this thing that's going to happen is, whoops, it did happens. it happen? <laughs> uh, is, it, is it going to change your appearance any, sir? No, it's not. No. Are you going to build anything? No, I'm not. Are you going to destroy something? No, I'm not. Are you wrecking this whole studio? No, I'm not. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, you talk about bad feet. <laughs> Down sixty dollars to go with a little bill. Oh, Alan, you're, you're taking enough. something apart, are you? Uh, in a sense, yes. Uh, well, we're not taking anything apart. We're only yes. Uh, we're not taking anything apart. That's what I said. You're rearranging something. Uh, yes, we're rearranging. Uh, are these things you start? Uh, are these things any good you're working with? I mean, oh, there's the most. Oh, <laughs> no home should be without one. <laughs> are these things going to be usable when you're finished, Alan? Oh, I hope so. Yes. Good. There they are. All right, $40 down, $40 to go, and so we go, oh, please, the best you Palmer. Oh, you monster, what would we do without you? You made us a star. <laughs> Can we take take our things off after we after yeah. we see it? Yes, I mean, but, here? Yes, you but take you your what off? Your <laughs> Lloyd Bridges passed uh, away. Um, um, now, are you, uh, are these maybe like um, names of things or are these sayings and you're uh, kind of acting them out with props? No, we're not. No. Can I please? All right, we have $50 down, $20 to go. We're going to Johnny Carson, please. Uh, Jerry, please. Can, we, can we, we take off our blindfolds? Not yet. Not yet. No. Oh. Have you been drinking, Alan? Yes, I have. Oh. <laughs> Is this, are, th are these uh, like articles from a swap shop that you're... Uh, no, they're not, though. Is Gary involved in this with you? I bet he is. Now okay. can All right, now you can take your blindfolds off. My goodness. Oh, they've been You've been away. Well, the argument is this. We've both been traveling with our families this summer, and the idea is that the men are always appointed to pack, but then the women say, why didn't you pack it this way? Yes. So, we have been unpacking this car. All this stuff came right out of here. This over here is identical with this, both the car and the equipment are identical. So, Johnny and Bill, if you'll go to that car. Yeah. Betsy and Bess, if you'll come over I here. <laughs> all, of that, all of that fits into the trunk of this car. No oh, tricks, wait, no wait. false bottoms. It's the way things are. We'll start you right now, and you've got to pack it and bend nothing and get the lid down. One, two, three, go. There we go. Oh! Well, let's have Good night, friends. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Be sure to watch Crystal Myers' show, Producer's Choice on another network. Be your local listing. For My name is Alan King, and I've got a secret.
I've Got a Secret, brought to you tonight by Bristol Myers, makers of Buffrin, the modern pain remedy that gives you fast pain relief without stomach discomfort. Bristol Myers brings you America's number one panel show, I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. Thank you so much. A glad good evening to you on a rather coolish evening here in August, and uh, welcome to I've Got a Secret. We'd like to have you meet the members of our panel. They are Bill Cullen and Betsy Palmer, and then sitting in for Henry Morgan, who is off doing summer stock, is our very good friend, Johnny Carson. A special hand for Johnny. Johnny is a guest. And, of course, homely Bess Myers. <laughs> Look at that girl in her Sunday. <laughs> kind of too bad about you. Now, are you ready to play the game, panel? Yes, sir. You are? All right. Now, may we have our first contestant, please. <laughs> Will you tell uh, our panel what your name is, please, and where you're from? I'm Landon Bradshaw from Brooklyn. Jasper County, Texas. This is Mr. Bradshaw, and he is from Texas. The name of the town is Brooklyn, but it's spelled B-R-O-O-K-E-L-A-N-D. A whole different Brooklyn than the one you're thinking of. You seem to have something in a box there. What, what is it, sir? Uh, that's my secret. Well, if that's your secret, maybe we ought to share it with our audience at home, if you'll whisper to me, please. Well, I must confess that I really don't find that too terribly exciting. There must be more to it. Uh, uh, can you, uh... What's the name? <laughs> that I do find impressive, and so panel Mr. Bradshaw's secret concerns something he has. Find impressive, and so panel Mr. Bradshaw's secret concerns something he has. And let's just start at the top. Bill Cullen, we'll start with you. Mr. Bradshaw, sir, it is in the box. The it's thing. in the box. Is it alive, sir? No. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> is it a one-of-a-kind thing, uh, Landon? Uh, would you say this was the only one exactly like it? Well, we'd have to say, I think Mr. Bradshaw is the only one exactly like it. However, there are several billion of this general species. Would you not agree with that? That's right. But this is unique, the one it's Mr. Bradshaw. Uh, is it bigger than the other billion of the general species? It's bigger than billions. Oh, oh, you're from Texas, and this is bigger. It's something you grew, and it is a, is it a vegetable? No. Is it? All right, there's $20 down, $60 to go, and so we go to Betsy. Is it, no. Is it something you really did grow, though, Mr. Bradshaw? Come again? Did you, did you grow this? Yes. Now, now wait just half a second. You know, the thing about our paddle is that sometimes they get so busy ad-libbing to each other under their breath and breaking each other up. Bill, what did you say to Betsy to break her up? Well, well I'm I said not it's breaking up. It's Bess who's breaking up. Well, well, who said what? To I'm make trying to ask Mr. Bradshaw I said it's something, something he grew that's bigger than anyone ever had anywhere. <laughs> it's probably a particularly big boil or carbuncle or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> all right, no, no fair ad living on top of ad lib. All right. Now then, is it something that you grew outside of your house? Yes. Is it something? Oh, all right, forty dollars down, forty dollars to go. We go to Johnny Carson, please. If you walk down the street with this, could you walk down the street with this? No. no. You couldn't. No. You couldn't pick this up. No. Is it? Uh, is it? It is vegetable? No. Oh, then we don't know that he grew anything. No. He grew it. He grew it. He grew it. He we grew know it. that he grew it, but we, we know all, only we know that it isn't is that it is not a vegetable. <coughs> is it edible? Yes. Would I enjoy eating it? Yes. Well. The animal, vegetable, and mineral. $60 down, $20 to go, and we go please to Bess. Um, is it um, a meal? of some kind? In other words, do you have some kind of cooked chicken or baked? <laughs> oh, it's, it, it, no. It, it. Good evening, sir. 
you do. Nice to have you with us. I'll ask you please to identify yourselves to the members of our panel. You are please. Mrs. Dallas Vernon from Lebanon, Missouri. Mrs. Vernon, and she is from Missouri. And the gentleman to my left? Dallas Vernon from Lebanon, Missouri. So we have here Mr. and Mrs. Vernon, the husband and wife team, right? Missouri. All right, now if you'll whisper your secret to me, we'll show it at the same time to our audience at home. But Gary, yes. we share our secret with four of our seven boys. Oh, four of your seven sons. That's right. Well, they're backstage, are they not? Let's get the four sons out here. They share the secret. Now, we know that your last name, of course, is Vernon, so we'll ask you to give us your first names, please. Yes, I'm Bill Vernon. I'm Bill? from Joplin. You're from Joplin, Bill? Yes, I'm his twin brother, Bob. Ah, I'm Bob. And I'm the youngest, Don. Don? And I'm B.J. B.J. All right, now we're all assembled. Now, if you will whisper your... Oh, by the way, these gentlemen, all four of them, are ministers of the Christian Church, and they live in Joplin, Missouri. So, now that we have established that they are ministers and the family is all together, uh, let's whisper our secret, shall we? Uh, but, Gary, we share our secret with our wives. <laughs> with your wives? They're here? Yeah, they're here. Back let's seat. get the wives out. We'll, we'll... <laughs> so, now let's find out the first names of the wives, please. I'm will. Joy. Joy? Mm -hmm. Pat. Pat. Carol. Carol. Lorraine. And Lorraine. Well, isn't it nice that we're all together? Now we can whisper our secret, can we not? Oh, wait a minute, Gary. We have our children with us, and they share in our secret, too. <laughs> the children are here, too. All right, let's have the kiddies in. Here they come. The little one, no. Is no. it a prepared edible? No. Yes. No, it isn't. Huh? Uh, could we eat it right now here? Yes. Yes. Is it some kind of fruit? fruit. Yes. It is. It's the biggest of its kind that has ever been grown. We're not quite certain of that, are we? No. We just know well, it's an awfully big one of its sort. Uh huh. Is it um, it's a fifty-pound <laughs> orange? <laughs> But it's a 75-pound tomato. Is it something that we would put in a salad? Something that would you put in a salad? I've seen it done, although it's not recommended from my viewpoint. We've lost the $80. Well, Mr. Bradshaw's secret is that he has on this table, under the box, a watermelon. A watermelon. Now, since it's from Texas, it's a pretty big watermelon. Matter of fact, it weighs 119 pounds. What? 119. I'll get the cover off and give you a closer look. Mr. Bradshaw, what is the weight of a normal watermelon that you'd buy in a market? Uh, from 12 to 35 pounds. And a 35-pound watermelon's awfully big, isn't it? It's a large one. Yeah. Well, now, the, uh, what is this one worth? It's worth $29. $29. You see, he makes a specialty of growing them for supermarkets and for uh, restaurants for display purposes. Looks like it has thyroid trouble. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> it patted all the way up from Texas here. How many would this serve, sir? Uh, that'll serve over 200 people. Over 200 people, that's at a half pound portion per person, right? Right. Well, no, I don't want the audience to think we're going to trick them. We don't want you to think this is paper mache or whatever, so we don't have time to serve everybody in our studio audience, but I... <laughs> What'd you expect, a pickle fork? <laughs> oh, <here. watermelon, by the way, don't you want you to think it's going to go to waste? It is the, we're sending it to Jackie Gleason for breakfast, is what we're doing. <laughs> no, we're sending it to a local children's hospital here in town, and it will be served to them tomorrow. Mr. Bradshaw, thank you ever so much for being with us here tonight. Your Bristol Myers guest uh, package will be waiting for you offstage, and thanks so much. My name is Alan King, and I've got a secret. <laughs> Got a Secret, brought to you tonight by Bristol Myers, makers of Buffrin, the modern pain remedy that gives you fast pain relief without stomach discomfort. Bristol Myers brings you America's number one panel show, I've Got a Secret, starring 
Gary Moore. Thank you so much. A glad good evening to you on a rather coolish evening here in August, and uh, welcome to I've Got a Secret. We'd like to have you meet the members of our panel. They are Bill Cullen and Betsy Palmer, and then sitting in for Henry Morgan, who is off doing summer stock, is our very good friend, Johnny Carson. A special hand for Johnny. Johnny is a guest. And, of course, homely Bess Myers. <laughs> Look at that girl with her sunburn. <laughs> kind of too bad about you. Now, are you ready to play the game, panel? Yes, sir. You are? All right. Now, may we have our first contestant, please? <laughs> Will you tell uh, our panel what your name is, please, and where you're from? I'm Landon Bradshaw from Brooklyn. Jasper County, Texas. This is Mr. Bradshaw, and he is from Texas. The name of the town is Brooklyn, but it's spelled B-R-O-O-K-E-L-A-N-D. A whole different Brooklyn than the one you're thinking of. You seem to have something in a box there. What, what is it, sir? Uh, that's my secret. Well, if that's your secret, maybe we ought to share it with our audience at home, if you'll whisper to me, please. Well, I must confess that I really don't find that too terribly exciting. There must be more to it. Uh, uh, can you, uh... What's the play? <laughs> that I do find... On the end, hasn't got any place to put herself. <laughs> there you go. Now, the seven little Vernons are... They are Rebecca, nine, and Linda, eight. Linda, wave to the camera. That's it, yeah. And Richard, six. And Greg, six. And Michael, five. And James Lee... James Lee. Uh, J James Lee, no. The audience... No, James Lee, you're in the wrong seat. Well, the little girl's name is James Lee, apparently. I, the little girl is Diane. She's four. And on the end is James Lee, who is also four and has a mind of his own. <laughs> Actually, there is one other Vernon, Michelle, who is eight months old, but she decided to sleep this one out. Now, uh, James Lee, is it, is it all right with you if we go ahead with everything? <laughs> is it all right if we go ahead with this? Can you say, can you say yes? <laughs> The program comes to you sponsored by Bufferin, but not by James Lee. <laughs> but have no part of it. <laughs> so now we're all set. Let's whisper our secret together, shall we? Here we go. Panel, <laughs> oh, to help you with the game, the clue concerns something they do. We'll start the questioning. Why don't we start with Johnny? I was just going to say, if these youngsters said we're going to share our secret with our youngsters, I was going to leave. That was <laughs> something they do. Is this a, uh, a family activity that they enjoy together? Something that you all do together. Yeah. A pleasure, yeah. pleasurable activity? Is it what? A pleasurable activity? Pleasurable? Yeah. Is this something you do every week or any particular schedule? Schedule. Is it? It's a schedule. Yeah. There's a definite schedule, yes. All right, $20 down, $60 to go, and so we go to Bess. Uh, is it um, something that takes place on a Sunday? No. 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 Not, not necessarily. Not necessarily. There is a definite schedule. When we say schedule, I mean by that they know when they're going to do it.